ready. Welcome back. It's like forever since I played guitar. We're gonna tune up. How's everybody's week? Everybody's week was good. I had a good week. It's one of those weeks where you realize you can do more than you think you can, but then you do more and then you're tired and then you realize you can't do as much as you want. <laughs> oh, that's just kind of how things go, huh? But life is good. Life is good. Great. Great even. Let's get the amp going. I probably should have turned that on earlier, but whatever. But also like... It's a journey. It's progress. I'm not here for the motivation. I'm here to play guitar with you. Keep me accountable. Keep me accountable for everything guitar related. You know what? If my guitar looks like garbage, let me know. If I look like garbage, keep that to yourself. If I am not playing super well and you have some insights let me know i understand that my descending picking is not that great but we're working on it every day i don't know i'm just kind of ranting because i'm waiting for that thing to warm up which i'm sure it is already and then we're gonna turn it on we're gonna get some distortion going because you always gotta play with the little bit of dirt We go metronome get the iron horse going that's a little slow let's speed it up Comments. What 
doing it, Peter? Thank <laughs> you. 
challenging ourselves right now, but I think 82 will do it. Mm-hmm. 
Has ever happened to you during some of these video tutorials, like you want to keep playing, but they're like trying to teach you how to do something, but you're just going to keep playing over it and never actually learn the thing? Because that's me too. I text wife back. I'm go here and level down. what I wanted. Put a little more volume. A little less volume. A little more gain. Just a smidge more gain. it with third fret low E string kind of bluesy bend then A5 twice so and then on the repeat we sort of it up, we get back into that first C5 with a second fret on the A and that leads us into the repeats Fantastic. 
chorus riff. Okay, so once you have that, we'll look at this. So we're going to kind of get roll the volume off for this a little bit because on the recording, it's very kind of, very clean with a bit of chorus. Uh, but live, there's always a bit of distortion on it. They kind of make it a bit more rocky. Uh, so the riff goes like this. Okay. So another classic Def Leppard thing of open strings over nice chords. We have the second fret on the A string, followed by two open strings D and G. So, and then we move this shape up. We have two. Sorry, we have three, two, open, A, D, G. We play a one, two, three, four, or A, D, G, D. So, so far, you should have... And then, we're going to move up here, that same shape, but it's the fifth and fourth fret, A and D, keeping the open G string. We're going to stretch out here, we're going to get the 7th fret on the A, the 4th fret on the D and the open G. We're going to go A, D, G, D as the picking pattern. Once you've got that, you've got the meat and potatoes of the riff. Now on the second Try beat, we have a slight variation. One second, Sam. I'm trying to alternate pick them. I should just pick them for now. Maybe. probably bugging a lot of you. That darn G string always getting in the way of a good song. That's gonna take some practice.
We're getting it. Of course, it's that pinky we we're like, yeah, trying to get that up and add it. You know, I think that's probably it for tonight. It was a solid practice, solid, solid practice for the most part, except for the times that it wasn't. We're doing it! <laughs> Rock on, have a good week, have a good weekend, whatever time you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, just make music, play guitar, have fun, outro, exit, Oh, one of these days I'll have to make an actual YouTube video. That's really funny to me. Nobody else but me. Have a good one.